I'd be very interested to hear what are the latest innovations in, in mobile, in both iOS, Android, etc. Right, so, you know, my, my personal experience is definitely deep within iOS. Mm -hmm. So I can certainly speak to what's going on in the Apple world. I think as, you know, Swift is, has, has reached a level of maturity. Mm -hmm. um, and we're now looking towards Swift 6, which okay. is the next iteration of the language. Apple themselves have kind of doubled down on some very new technologies uh, in kind of declarative UI uh, programming with Swift UI and functional reactive programming with right. Combine. So they've taken a lot of kind of the best parts, I guess, from what's happened in the web world with uh, React as a framework, and they're applying that to, uh, to iOS development. So that's kind of where things are headed. There's still a lot of people out there building applications with Objective-C. I think if you're starting new these days, you wouldn't start with Objective-C, but uh, definitely there are people who are you know, maintaining existing applications. Um, and in fact, you know, I work on a code base now that you know, still, has, still has some Objective-C kind of yeah. right down in, in the depths of it. Okay. So transitioning to Swift and the latest iterations of Swift, and getting familiar with Swift UI and uh, Combine is definitely what's happening and technically on the Apple platforms. 